Hey, this is Nikki Lynn from blingactions.com. I am going to be showing you how to use our brand new action set that was just released. This is our false spice set. I'm just going to bring in a few images and I'm going to show you, walk you through some of the my favorite parts of the action. This set is kind of packed full with many different effects that you can get. The effect of the action set is to warm up your colors and to give you that nice fall warm feel. A few of the actions will actually just brighten your greens and give your fields a nice good color boost that they need. So not every action in the set will warm, but uh, most of them will add the nice warm fil filters that are great for foliage, um, warm sort of pumpkin-y, nice cozy feeling for fall. I like to do my edits with clean edits, so all of the actions that I create will actually give you very even skin tones and always gives you the option to mask off specific parts of the image in order to maintain skin tones. One of my pet peeves um, with editing is running an action and then having it not maintain your skin tone. So to me that's very important and all the actions that I create will give you the options to maintain the action, excuse me, will give you the option to maintain your correct skin tones. Our Fall Berries line is specifically designed to work well with really dark skin tones, people with really good tans, um, darker complexions, that sort of thing. And it will give them a nice warm feel. We have Harvest Blend that actually has a really nice vintage action built into it. Uh, we can remove the haze if we prefer not to have that in this particular set. I left it in there. We also have Fall Berries. Again, that's really great for darker skin tones. And the set also includes some great features in terms of boosting some sky here, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use that one as well. So I'm just clicking through very briefly just to show you some different before and after. The Fall Fields is a really great one for those really nice barn images, or if you have a background that is, has tons of beautiful trees with changing foliage. And um, just lots of great effects. So let's go right into Photoshop. This particular action, I'm going to go ahead on this image and I'm going to run Harvest Blend on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, play the action. The action's already been installed. If you have questions about how to install the actions, just visit blingactions.com and go right into the How To option, top menu, and click on How To Install Actions. And there's, there's different instructions there for both uh, Photoshop and for Photoshop Elements. So you'll see here, the first thing that you'll notice whenever you play an action of mine is that we have masking modes built into every single layer. And when you go ahead and you look at this, actions basically speak a language to you. They're basically talking to you. So when you play them and you see, anytime you see a black, it's basically telling you, hey, I have something hidden underneath me and I need you to show me what it is. So it's telling you that you need to paint on this mask to reveal an effect. Most of my actions will actually give instructions right on the actual layer. This one specifically says brush on edges for contrast. You'll see there's another black one down here. It says brush on color to enhance the background. And anytime that you see a white mask, it means that the effect has already been revealed on the image and it's either going to be fine exactly the way that it is or it's going to tell you something. My action like on the specific, specific one for this white one, it says turn up for vintage tones. So I can just show you here, if I go ahead and I start turning this up, I'm starting to lose some of the coloring in the image. It's very subtle actually on this particular image. Um, but if you look, there's the color, you can see some red in her cheeks. And when I'm turning this up for vintage tone, it actually means I'm reducing the basic um, color tone of the whole image. So you can see it's starting to lose that, that coloring effect there starting to give it more of a vintagey edge there. For this image, I'm going to just leave that on all the way. Um, and then you can see the next one's labeled Sweet Vintage. And when you click on a mask that actually shows black and white here, you can see up at the top you have your opacity. You can turn your opacity up or down. So let's just turn this all the way up. And you can see now, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that. You can see now that I'm starting to um, get a nice soft creamy haze here, which is um, added to part of the vintage effect. Now if I 
increase the haze all the way up and then I take my vintage and I also turn that vintage layer all the way up and I remove some color. You can see it's starting to look a little bit funky. Um, so the cool thing about working with the masks that you have with all of the actions that come from Bling Actions is that you have total control over each layer. When you see the word non-destructive editing written into the description, this means that you have options to fully be able to turn masks off or on and be able to edit them as needed. Um, what I want to go ahead and do here is I'm going to turn up my color boost layer here. You can see it says color boost enhance or brush off skin. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to increase this all the way up because I want to boost. And then just as this layer says, now she has too much red in her face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually brush on this mask with a white, with a, with a black brush because this mask is telling me that my color boost enhancer layer has added this to the whole image and now if I feel like that's too much I need to just brush part of that off her face so I'm going to choose a black brush just by going down here and choosing black I want to make sure that my brush is actually selected you can see up here uh, I'm going to choose the brush and then I'm going to adjust my brush size you can right click to adjust your brush size or you can use the bracket keys on your keyboard now, I'm going to be brushing on her face to remove some of the red, but I don't want to remove all of the red. So what I'm going to do is to take my brush opacity down to like a 19%, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to start taking that off her face. And let me zoom this in for you. So I'm going to start taking this off her face here, and what I've done is just removed enough of the red from her face that she doesn't have that outside working in the cold sort of feel, but she still has enough that um, it gives her some color. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave that just like that. And now the next thing that I want to do here is I'm going to deepen some of my shadows. So this mask option here that says deepen shadows, I can see up here it's set to 52%. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to increase that because I want to increase those shadows so that they're a little bit stronger in the background. And then you can see that maybe that added a little bit too much to her face. So once again, I'm going to choose a, a black paintbrush, my brush here, my paint, and I'm going to just take it off her face area only at like an 11% because I want to leave some contrast through her eyes. Okay, and I'm happy with that. Now what I want to do is I'm going to, I want to brush on some of this nice warm color into this background area here. So what I'll do is just minimize a little bit so that you can see. I'm going to increase my brush size. I'm actually going to choose the brush on color enhancer to background, and I'm going to choose a white brush. And now I want to be able to see this effect really well. So I'm going to go ahead and increase this all the way up. And then I'm just going to start painting into this background area. And basically what this is doing is because the color enhancer has been hidden, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reveal it. I need to paint on this with a white brush and I need to make sure I'm painting on the mask. And I'm just going to start painting over this. And you can see now that that nice, awesome color that's below there is going to start being revealed. It's going to warm up my entire image here. And you just want to make sure you're not putting this on skin tones. So what I want to do is actually add a little bit of this to her skirt as well. I'm just going to go in here and just sort of add this in through. And I did it at 100% on here, add it to a little bit of her shirt here too. And then I also want to warm up a little bit of her face, but not as much as I did the rest. So we'll do like a 10% and I'll just go ahead and just add a very little bit of warmth to her face and her hairline. Okay, that seems good. And now I have an option down here too where it says reduce red skin. You can see it's set to 0%. If I wanted to remove a little bit of red from her face here, I would be able to just increase this and I'll be able to just pull this up. It's a very subtle effect when it, whenever I ha have the reduce red skin built into my actions and it is built into a lot of my actions. It's always a very subtle effect. So just you just want to remove enough of the red so it looks natural, but you don't want to remove so much that they start looking like death. You need to be very careful about how much of that that you increase. So definitely make sure that it looks good. And I think, you know, there it looks really good there. So I also have an option here for brightness booster. If I was working on an image that was a little bit dark, I could go ahead and pull this up. This image, I think, is pretty well evenly toned. Nikki does a really good job with her um, sock images are usually pretty on. Um... You see I have an image sharpen here. I'm going to leave the image sharpen. I like it the way that it is. But the last thing that I'm going to kind of want to play with here is I'm going to play around with the brush on um, edges for contrast. So again, I'm not going to add this on at 100% because I just want to add a little bit of contrast in through here. But I'm going to go ahead and increase this maybe, we'll do it about a 45% just so that you can see. And I'm just going to start brushing this contrast on through here. 
And you can see this is starting to give my tones just a little bit of a deeper darkening. And the point of this is that you really want your subject to start popping out of the image and this sort of gives it that three dimensional look. And again, you don't want to get this on her skin. But I will decrease a little bit and I'm going to add a little bit of this contrast also to her skirt line just so that it pops out a little bit. And through here and I'll just add a little bit in through her shirt area too. And then I'll lower the opacity a little bit more as I'm brushing on and I'm just going to add it to her hairline as well. And I'm pretty happy with that. This action is quite long and you have lots of different options on the bottom. Some of these are actually repeats in case you would like to increase the effect of certain image, certain effects. You can go ahead down here and you can, you can add more contrast at the bottom. Um, but usually the first, the first like 10 options in here will be plenty for you to use. Um, now if I wanted to go in and add that vintage haze, you know, I can go ahead and play with that at this effect. If I like it, you know, more of an old style feel, you can go ahead and turn that up. I think for this image, I actually kind of like it right at about a 37%, which is about defaulted, I think, for that image. And then also, after you're done adding in your color contrast and such, you can go in and decide if you want to add more brightness. I sort of like the Creamy Blast on this one at about 62%. And the um, Pink Cream, I kind of like... Hmm, we're going to go ahead and leave that at 16%. So you can go ahead and see here, this was, again, the Harvest Blend from the new Sp Fall Spice set. This was the before image, and then this is the after image. Um, I hope that this tutorial has given you a little bit of information about how maybe to read a mask and how to apply the mask. All of the actions in this set will do very specific things. Um, so it's important to sort of play an action, figure out sort of what the effect is on the overall tone. But this Harvest Blend is a really great one for this type of a overall image where you have a lot of like golden tones, brown tones, foliage tones. Um, this one is a great image that would be perfect for running the Fall Sky Booster on. So I'm just going to go ahead and play that really quickly. Um, and then it's going to play. It's not going to do anything to the action, it's, I mean to the image itself because this you can see here um, hasn't activated these yet. So what I need to do is actually paint on the sky and the clouds. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this with a white brush at 100% opacity so you can see what this is going to do. This works great on skies that are not completely washed out. If your sky is totally washed out, there isn't really a way to bring that back. But on um, an image where you have sort of some clouds in the background but you just lost some of your contrast, you can go ahead and pop that in there. And then I'm going to also paint this one on as well. And you can see this is going to start really toning up my skyline so that I'm starting to see all of those gorgeous clouds in the background and it's added the blue tones in. And then this image um, says paint off skin as needed and this is basically just going to be a little bit of a retoning. So in this particular image it wasn't an issue because she was already pretty light skinned. But if it was an issue where there was some orange or some red overcast on the skin, this layer um, you would want to just take the, um, the effect off of the skin. Again, in this particular image it's not an issue so it's fine. Um, and basically what I would do at this point is go ahead and layer, go to up at the top you would go layer and flatten. And then once your image has become flattened, then you can go pick another action set from the series that you would want to maybe play on this set. Um, or you may decide that this is fine just the way it is. So um, you have that option. And then when you play that, play another action on top of this, you would want to just go in your masking layers and just mask off any of the washout effects or brightening effects off the sky to maintain um, your sky integrity. So let's do one other here. Um, I'm going to do color burst on this one. Just going to go ahead and play the color burst. And what we'll notice here is that if you're working in the full version of Photoshop, you have this nice um, folder at the top of all the actions in the set. And you can basically just pull this down. You're just going to go this way and you're just going to pull down the effect of the whole action like this. Um, the other option that you have is obviously to go per layer. So when we're looking through our masks based on the earlier information I gave you at the beginning of this tutorial, we know that all of the white masks are revealing and all of the black mean I need to paint something in in order for it to show. This action actually has an eye sharpen built in. Her eyes are so far away I don't need to sharpen and also has a skin smooth built in and I won't need to smooth her skin in this. But what I will need to do um, this is our color burst and it gives you directions right on the layer to remove that off the skin. So what I'm going to do is leave this action or this layer at 
and then I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on her. And you'll see here that this has added a little bit of red color cast to her skin. So what I need to do is just paint part of that off her skin. So I'm going to pick a brush size that's the size of her face. And I want to remove not all of it, but enough of it so that she looks more natural to her. So I'll just take off at about 28%. And I'm just going to sort of take this off of these areas here. And we'll sort of move them off of here. And it's a very subtle effect. It's not going to be huge, but it's just going to be enough that she's going to remove some of the um, the red cheeks and sort of the uneven skin tone that she had there. We have an increase for brightness here. This image doesn't really need to be any brighter. Um, I think I'll probably leave it about right there. And you'll see here we have a pop and wow layer here. So I can pull that up to add more brightness and more um, contrast. And let's go pull back out so we can kind of see. I sort of like that right there. And then we have this option too where we can play around with the contrast here. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to just increase the contrast to about 64%. Go ahead and leave that. And then I have an option where I can paint on some warmth if I wanted to. So I think for this image, I just want to warm the grass up a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and this time it's a black brush. It says paint on warmth. So I'm going to go ahead and choose white. And I'm going to increase my brush size. And I'm going to do this at 100% just so that you can see. And I'm just going to paint this warmth into this grass here. And you'll see this is instantly starting to give me just a little bit of a warm tone and I'm going to lose um, part of the bright harsh greenness. It's not a huge effect, just a very soft one. I do have the ability um, to increase if I want to add more warmth. I think I'm going to leave that at about a 59% there. And then if I wanted to add just a little bit to the building, I can lower my brush opacity and then just go ahead and apply this to the, to the building and just warm that up a little bit. And then my overall brightness, I'm just going to go ahead and reduce just a little tiny bit. Um, our contrast, it says to brush off the skin if needed. So um, I sort of like this where it is here. I think the one thing that I probably would do on this layer is I'm just going to go ahead and take this off the skin just a little bit. So we'll just lower that brush size again, 28%, and I'm just going to take off some of the contrast off her face. And then that way that will give me more even skin tones there. And then there you have it. This is the Fall Color Burst from our Fall Spices line. And here is our before image, and here is our after image. You can see that the actions are very simple. They're very easy to use. As long as you understand masking, which is very simplistic, um, white reveals and black conceals. And just when you play an action, just take a look at all your layers and read what it's telling you because it's always giving you information. Um, I hope that you found the tutorial very helpful. I hope you love this fall set. I'm in love with it myself. I've gotten some great results with it. And if any of you need help um, learning how to edit in Photoshop or would like to take a class on camera settings, remember to check out blingactions.com and click the classes link. I offer classes in a very similar way to this where you actually would hear me speaking and you'll view my desktop while I'm editing or while I'm teaching the class. And you would actually just use your own headset to be able to talk back to me. Um, there's no uh, cameras involved in it so you have the freedom of being able to um, take the class in your pajamas if you want it's a really great situation um, all the classes are allow time for question and answers and that sort of thing so if you are interested in taking a class check out the classes link on blingactions.com and be sure to use code GET25 it's all caps G-E-T 25 for $25 off your classes and those are taught every time every week all the time I teach different classes and all of the classes can be booked based on your schedule flex time so just choose a flex time option daytime or nighttime that works for you and after checkout I'll just contact you and we'll schedule a time that works for both of us conveniently I hope you enjoyed this and I really look forward to seeing your before and after so feel free to post on our Facebook page and have a great night